Hola. So, I look pretty bad. I've been in my bed all day, and um, I cried all my makeup off. And yeah, I'm having a pretty crappy day. And um, I'm thirsty, because I'm a mermaid. Can you see my mermaid? I'm not showing you my... It's just a mermaid, guys. Calm down. Mm -hmm. I miss the sea, so I need to drink lots of water. Um, my day was awful, and it is not really improving. Also, my room is like 150 degrees, and every time I've tried to watch an 80s movie, it has gone on, it's gone interrupted, so I can't even have my alone time, which is what I need. So thanks, universe, for cursing me today. I don't know what I did to deserve it. Uh, actually, I probably know what I did. That's a secret. I'm just kidding. I didn't do anything. There's no body in the park. But yeah, so I decided to cheer up and make a video about my trinket jar. And I've been trying to make a video about this numerous times, and none of my videos are going through. But my nose is runny, so that's another perk. Okay, so let's... Happy, happy. Everyone think happy thoughts. Because if you think happy thoughts, then you get to fly. Peter Pan reference? I think so. Okay. Oh my goodness, my nose is just a running like Lance Armstrong, who is a bicyclist who doesn't even do that. Okay. Enough with extraneous talking. Here's a butterfly made out of beads that my only good... Okay, nope, that, that was going to come out racist. My only close black African-American friend ever had made this for me. It's really cute, and she made it for me in fourth grade, and I haven't seen her in a long time. I see her at Chick-fil-A all the time. Every time, almost. And then I got a little dreidel from the Jewish Museum in Tulsa. I don't know what it's really called, but that's what it is. And, uh, oh, it's a synagogue, and they have a gift shop. I wish our church had a gift shop. You Jews, you're so lucky. But yeah, I know how to play the drill game, because I took a Jewish like anthropology kind of culture class it was supposed to be archaeology but we celebrated Hanukkah and all these other festivals so I really don't think that was just archaeology <laughs> this is money from the uh, Renaissance festival that we have every year and uh, it does it still works and it's four years old so if I ever need to spend any money I got a dollar actually I have two of those so I'm loaded, folks. I could buy myself another turkey leg, which are so good. This I found in my church. My old church, I guess. Um, playing hide go seek in the dark. And I found this. And it reminded me of something you would win in a trunk from Zelda. So, had to have it. Uh, this is a magical ball that reminds me of Dragon Ball Z a little bit, but not that much. And I got it at Chicken Express. <laughs> Then I have this rainbow string that I stole from an art table mixed with the string that I got a letter with. Or a letter with the string, but the string was better than the letter. This is a dart that goes to my uncle's dartboard. My uncle is dead, so this is cool to have. Um, let's see. I have a bunch of marbles in my trinket drawer. This one is my favorite because there's a little blue heart kind of thing going on and I got it on the best field trip ever. It was in, it was like the Cherokee Museum in Tahlequah, I think? I don't know. I live on so many Indian reservations it's not even funny. Uh, this is the world's tiniest cameo. I think we should name her Broomhilda. What say you? Hello, Broomhilda. Oh, hello. Oh, you're so... Oh, Broomhilda. Oh, stop. Get out. Anyways, this I won at an arcade on my 16th birthday. This was the only perk of my 16th birthday because the person I was with didn't really want to celebrate the same way I did. Who doesn't want to go on an aerial slip inside when you're 16? Stupid people. But yeah. This was pretty awesome, but the reason it's in my trinket drawer and not on the necklace it came with 
is that it has these little pointers that would be great with, like, confronting a rapist, but when you are just wearing it and it jabs into your palm, it's not so fun. Um, here's a bunch of random buttons. This is a panda that I got from the St. Louis Zoo, which is free to go to, so I was like, Psh, spend all my money on a gift shop, yo. Here's a key. I gave it to my first serious boyfriend saying, it's the key to my heart, when it was like the key to my diary, and uh, he gave it back. So apparently, you don't get to keep my heart, sucker. Uh, this comes from a little barrette that I had that was for a penny, and it was really good, but as you can tell, it was definitely a penny's worth, because it fell off the day I bought it. This is, these are interesting. You can buy these pretty much at any, like, Indian store in Oklahoma, just saying. And me and my friend, uh, she started with these, and she called hers Pistol Pete. And then we bought a whole bunch of these and would name them with armory names mixed with the normal names. So this one is Oscar, wait, Uzi Oscar. And then there was, like, Shotgun Sally and Rifle Roger and... There's another cameo, which is my first cameo necklace, which is really awesome. I have a cameo necklace on right now. It's like the mama of it. This is from my adopted grandma, who's really just my mom's best friend. We call her adopted grandma, and uh, it's from New Mexico. It's awesome. Um, this is the first... This came from the first and only necklace a boyfriend has ever gotten me, and it was too cute to throw away. I had a vain moment at the fair and got my name embossed on a gold heart thing with a rose and I gave it to that same serious boyfriend and was like, here's my heart. And he's like, don't want it. So yeah, worked out in the end, didn't it? These are little metal discs <clears throat> and my friend who gave them to me calls them warts, but I don't know what they're really called, if they are actually called warts, that's pretty awesome. But um, they're illegal. Uh, in the way that they are the same weight and shape of a quarter. And if you put them in, like, machines, they'll usually go through as a quarter. And I actually know that they will, because I have used one. But it was for a gumball, so can you judge me? It's a pat- it's a- it's a pence. It's some yen. This fell off of my music box that I still have, and keep a bunch of dried roses in now, but she's pretty creepy, so I kept her. Um, this is a bead from the Only Friendship Bracelet. No, no, I have the friendship bracelet. I'm not that lonely. Uh, the first friendship bracelet I ever had. And all the people who own those friendship bracelets never wore them. So, kind of tells you how committed my friends are. And, uh, the only other thing we have in here, there's a bunch of, like, doubles of stuff like, oh, there goes a marble. Uh, this is a little... Thing I got from a rock shop. I love going to rock shops. They're so weird and uh, it's pretty cool. It like reminds me of a shark. I don't know why. I just have weird associations. Also there's a Mancala piece in there. Has anyone ever played Mancala? Way better than any other board game. For sure. That is making a racket. But yeah, so I made a trinket jar and I'm organizing my whole room, hopefully. I want to build some shelves and uh, fill more jars and it should be a fun experience. So that's the trinket jar so far. Oh, we rhymed. Look at us. Dr. Seuss and it up in here. And I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And if you have a trinket jar or trinkets or any knickknacks, tell me below. What are they? Are they people? Do you have names for them? Like Oscar Uzi or Uzi Oscar or whatever? Bertha? No, no. Broomhilda. See? That's how much she matters. Alright. Hopefully your day is better than mine. And, uh... See you in a couple of days, I'm sure. Bye.